love is not what? What is not love? Yeah. Hi, I'm Sinead. And I'm Nita. And today we're talking about why you might wish you had a mini mini in your shed. is because the other day Unita was telling us a story of how she got herself in an icky situation and one of our amazing tools in this showroom had saved the day. Totally. Yep. So what happened is my sister and I were home alone, children and us, and I live on two and a half acres and lucky me got a water leak up my driveway. So um, we spent, oh my gracious, like so many hours trying to rectify this problem. Neither of us are plumbers. Neither but we've been brought up in a household that when there's a job that needs to be done, even if you don't know how to do it, you just get in and figure it out. But luckily for us, we did have a little bit of assistance from our father who was overseas at the time, but he sent us a text message explaining what we were supposed to do. And we got the job done. So the reason we left the hole open was we wanted... Um, to make sure that, that we'd done everything right so this water didn't leak again. So I could ring a plumber and get him to come by and make sure that we'd done everything properly before we, you know, buried the pipes again. So I had this plumber come by and he's having a look and he basically said we did a great job. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tap on the back for us. <laughs> Uh, he did tighten it a little bit because apparently hands are not good enough for tightening those things. So lucky we left it open for that aspect. So he tightened a little bit. But otherwise we did a pretty good job apparently. Um, but the the interesting part was he said to me, oh, have you buried it in already? And I said, no, obviously. I've left the hole open for you to see. And he said, no, like you put some dirt back in. And I said, no, no dirt back in. And he said, well, how did you cut the pipe? Because we had only... Well, as you can see in the picture, left like a gap of about that much underneath the pipe and sort of that, that on either side as well. And he said, you, you couldn't have got a saw in there to cut the pipe with, with that smaller hole. And I said, ah, but I am a lucky, proud owner of a silky mini mini. Now, this is a plastic cutting saw and it allowed me to cut in as small a hole as I possibly could. Now, this day it was like 40 degrees, it felt like. It was so hot and we were so frustrated and flustered. So yeah, we were doing minimal digging. We did not want to have to dig any more than we had to. So this little saw here allowed us to dig the smallest possible hole and do that connecting. Um, and the other benefit was when we went to the hardware shop, which I have to say, the Silky was amazing, hardware shop not so amazing. Because we had to go back there like three times because the, the fittings we got were not correct. We couldn't figure out why the silly pipe wouldn't seal properly. We still had water going everywhere and it turned out they were missing bits, so no thanks to hardware shop. <laughs> Anywho, when I was at the hardware shop, they said to me, it's extremely important that you have a really clean cut when you're connecting these connectors to the pipe, because they said any burrs or any little, you know, bits sticking out from the pipe will cause the seal to not seal properly. So when we went back and we did the cut again, the Silky Mini Mini just gives the most beautiful cut. It's kind of like the Silky Saws do on timber. It feels like they're being sanded when you cut with them. Well, this is really very similar. So all my sister and I had to do was cut the pipe and then just give it a very light little sand around the edges just to make sure there was nothing at all sticking out. And it's, it's sealed a treat. It has now been a week and a half in, no water has leaked, and it was an absolute beautiful job. So I thought it was only fair to share with all of you how amazing the Silky Mini Mini Plastic is. I don't use it very often. I hope not to use it very often, to be completely <laughs> honest. But for the cost of like, I think they're only 20 something dollars, yeah. it was well worth the investment. And I'm so glad that I had this in the shed. So we thought we would share this story with you. So from the sounds you need a story, she's not going to change her profession anytime soon. No, or no, not at all, no. It, uh, it was way too hot, way too hard. I have a much greater appreciation now for all you plumbers out there <laughs> doing outdoor work. You're amazing. It is something I don't want to do in summer ever again. It was way too hot, way too sweaty. And doing that when you're like dribbling in sweat, it's just, it's, it's a bad combo. I'm not doing it. But what I will do is sell you one of these amazing saws because yeah. that saved the day for us. 
and saved us from, you know, sunstroke and all those beautiful things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the hobby, the hobby, hobby, the mini mini range, sorry, comes in a variety of different tooth styles. So if, if you choose the wrong tooth style for the wrong job, it's, you're not going to have the same experience as you need it does. Yes. Because the blue, blue one cuts metal, the soft metals. Yes. The green one cut, cuts plastic and the orange slash yellow one cuts wood. So and the one I hobby, used? Hobby, hobby saws. What's this one? Oh, so that is the one that you use in a plumbing situation. Yeah. So look for green, look for the mini mini green. This is the green mini machine for PVC pipe, irrigation pipe, any kind of, there was a special name for it, black tubing of some sort, I think they call it blue stripe or anything. Anyway, <laughs> cut in a tree, really good. Done and does it. And also if you're ever in a shop and um, you order all three of them and yes. you can't remember what, they also have the name of the, what it cuts on the blade itself. Yes, that's true, laser and scrub. Yeah, awesome. Brilliant. Well, that is all from us. Mm -hmm. And you need this unique story of how she became the world's best plumber. <laughs> all in one day. Yes. <laughs> we what hope you do when you've got no choice. Yes. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. Please yes. subscribe. Um, we love hearing from you, so leave a comment and like this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.